Yo, welcome in everybody. So, I don't play hardcore, but if I did, if I did, this might be one of the builds that I go ahead and try. It's so incredibly safe. You have a ton of life, and your summons get out there and slap stuff down. And plus, it'd be kind of fun. You never really ever play the bear druid, and actually, it can really help you out in this instance. So as we're jumping in, I do just want to say, I know this isn't the new hammered in. This isn't making a run for its money at the Mosaic Assassin, but this is an incredibly safe build. And who wants to play the same build forever? Maybe you're starting an alt up with the season five ladder, or, you know, or a week or two into it or whatever, or on single player, you just want to try something different just for the funsies. That's kind of what this is for. And like I said, incredibly safe. This could be a great build for like hardcore play. So we'll jump into the stats first, and this is kind of my new setup for how I do build showcases. Let me know how you like it down in the comments with the different things I'm showing you along with the gameplay on the screen at the exact same time. So first of all, for the stats, a standard max Vita build because we're going for the uh, kind of most survivability. We have 500 vitality here. This is a level 90 druid right here. Just enough strength to wear your gear. You can see where it's at. You can kind of guess what the shield is. Now, all the gear isn't absolutely perfect, so you can tell I kind of went with the spirit. And the resistances aren't capped, but you have so much life on this character, it ends up being uh, pretty much nonsensical, to be perfectly honest. So I didn't even notice any remote survivability issues with the resistances where they're at. You could easily cap them out with some charms or even just like the most minuscule swap of a little bit gear here. Now let's go ahead and jump into the skill tree. Starting off on the elemental side, I decided to go just down to Cyclone Armor, just get the one point in there. You get the 328 uh, damage absorbed. It's not crazy, but hey, for one point to get down on there, it's uh, not really that big a deal. So I went ahead and went for it. Now over on the shape shifting, we're gonna be the bear. So uh, obviously we're gonna go over here. We got one point into where bear, but you notice it doesn't really help out your life at all. And because this is a summoning character, you do get the 285% life, but a lot of that actually comes from up here maxing out lycanthropy which gives you 210 percent max life so even though we're a bear this bear boosts up your defense and the damage but you're not really trying to get hit all that much so i went ahead and just saved the points for putting into there so i just went one point there and we got one point down to shockwave because this is an incredible survivability skill we don't really use it for the damage per se but the stun length now apparently there is a maximum stun length on this of 10 seconds so just having one point into it along with the extra bonus points we actually have a level 20 you see right here a level 20 shockwave that has over the 10 seconds so anything we hit and stun will be stunned for the maximum length obviously this is a summoner bear druid so we got a lot of points over here on the summons so first of all right down the middle of the summons we're using you could switch some stuff around if you wanted to but I go with the three bottom ones here. We've got the uh, Grizzly. Go ahead and maxed out because we wanted to do a bunch of damage. And obviously the survivability so it gets more life. It also has a bunch of synergies from the Spirit Wolf and the Dire Wolf. So we got both of those maxed out too. This, uh, the Spirit Wolf and the Dire Wolf right here. And they both have synergies with each other and with the Bear as well. So all three of these synergize together perfectly. The Ravens up here do get more damage from both of those two. So if you wanted to, go ahead and use Ravens as well. You could go ahead and do that. But I just go ahead and don't worry about it. I went ahead and put the base points over here into the Oak Sage uh, for survivability for me. And hopefully it could survive. Now it only has 564 health. So if you want to go ahead and get more damage, you could put those points up in the Ravens. Go ahead and use those along the way as well. But I decided to go with the survivability one right here of the oak sage i will leave that one all up to you now the gear is usually the most interesting part it's pretty basic generic like end game gear to be perfectly honest there's definitely some super rare items that could mid max this character but i just went with the generic one right here so we've got the heart of the oak plus skills is the name of the game on a summoner right here so we got plus skills here of three we got plus skills on the spirit over here we've got some plus skills right here on the amulet Jalal's main great choice for any druid. You got two to skills there along with the strength, energy, uh, all resistance. We've got the Enigma here. Now we're in bear form, so we're not teleporting, but it's real nice to have that 45% faster walk run. Obviously a couple skills and a lot of other stuff there as well. Now on the gloves, I was thinking about some options, maybe throw some res gloves over here to really cap that stuff out, but went ahead and threw on some cast rate gloves that way. I actually reach a break point, but I only really use that break point for using the shockwave so I can cast it just a little bit faster. Uh, here we got SOJ, more skills. 
we've got more skills on the reactive mesh raven frost so i can get cannot be frozen i don't want to be froze i just want to run faster since we're not using teleport and i went with alders because it also once again has a bunch of walk run that way i can move around faster also the fire res makes up for the lack of fire res on the spirit shield obviously on swap We've got Call to Arms and a Spirit over here to go ahead and battle or up. Now, in the inventory, obviously, Geeds, Torch, and Annie, if you can get your hands on them. Uh, under here, I just put Magic Find Charms because I'm a Magic Finder. You could go all res stuff down here or any resistance to make up or what's, uh, you know, I'm lacking slightly, not capped out. And we've got, uh, we want to have Summoning Grand Charms down here. Unfortunately, I don't have a full lot assortment of them here. So there's a couple of these elementals I could just go ahead and toss out, but... Just for S's and G's, I stuck them down in there. Just to show you, you would want all summoning ones down here to boost those up. I mean, when you get a 45 to life skiller, you really wish it wasn't summoning. I'm going to be perfectly honest, but we got it. So we're using it for our summoning druid. Now over on the mercenary, we went with the might mercenary, hoping to get some more damage out of the, you know, physical that comes from the summons right here. And uh, we go ahead and put Reaper's Toll up here, you know, just to help out with any of the physical immunes. It also has a bunch of life leads to keep your, keep your mercenary alive. Ignore target defense. So uh, a great option for any re uh, mercenary, really. We don't really need to keep our mana up because we have summons. And infinity isn't going to really help us out much there either. So I, I decided to go with Reaper's Toll. Just a budget option for the armor and for the helmet here. Uh, Treachery and Tal's Mask, obviously, and Darl's Visage. And Fortitude are going to be the go-tos right there for the end game. So real quick, we'll just take a look at the important points of the advanced stat page here. Gold find, magic find. You see, 162% on the better chance to get magic items is not bad it's not great but it's not bad either it's perfectly fine i found a ton of great uh unique items with less magic find than this so as we scroll down the faster run walk which gets you moving around a lot faster a ton of hit recovery and when we look at the fat fcr right here it's actually at 120 so i could actually pull some off if i really wanted to min max the character a little bit better the break point for both bear form and human form the only two forms that you're going to be using here is actually 99 and then I believe the human form for the lower breakpoint is 68. And I think it was 63 for the bear form. If you wanted to not even get that high and there was some way you wanted to swap it around. But really, they both have a breakpoint at 99. So that's probably the one that you want to really strive for right there. So while the summoning druid is a bit slow, it's a kind of off the beaten path if you want to try something new or you want to try something with a ton of survivability. Not to mention those spirit wolves, I believe it is, has cold damage and you get physical from like the bear and the other wolves. And even the reaper's toll can help you out with any physical immune. So you really can take care of almost anything in the game, albeit kind of in a slow manner. But hey, I would really recommend trying this out at some point because I guarantee you probably haven't. Don't forget before you go, hit the like button and subscribe up if you're new to the channel. Peace out, fellas, and keep slaying.